you didn't decide to put yourself through this hell hole for no reason. Like, we have a purpose, we have a soul mission. You came here to do something. Hey, it's Anna. So for this video, I wanna do something a little bit different and I decided to just get on here, nothing planned and just like channel a message for the collective because I've been in such a weird space this week. Like, I don't know if it's Mercury being in retrograde and it's about to go direct today. So I don't know if it's to do with that or what the hell it's to do with, to be honest, but I have a lot of Pisces and Aries placements, so like transitioning from Pisces into Aries has kind of sent me weird, like it sent me a bit up in the air, you know, it's so strange because I thought like most people get a bit scattered when they go into Pisces series, series, most people get a bit like lost and like they're drowning when we go into Pisces season but for me it kind of felt like I was at home you know I was swimming perfectly fine <laughs> everything was amazing I was having revelations I was realizing my power and then as soon as Aries hit like holy shit <laughs> like my whole just I don't know I feel a bit it's a bit strange but I guess it kind of is because Aries is all about doing and like it's about the self and it's about moving forward and maybe when you go from Pisces of like really being in your dream space and like figuring out what you want and everything like that to then go into like okay now you need to put in the action like let's move forward let's do it you kind of trip up over yourself so this week has been rather strange and a bit weird so I just wanted to come on here and talk about it maybe anyone else going through like a similar thing will be able to relate and this might help you in some way but it's been honestly it's been such a weird strange week just emotionally though like not really with the physical world but just internally like even sitting here to film this video today was a bit of a struggle and I had to re-watch some old ones to try and like convince myself to come and film them and I'm realizing that obviously everything comes around in cycles. Like I've said this before, when you integrate or you learn a lesson, things still come back around to that same lesson, but you just internalize it on a deeper level. And I'm realizing this is definitely that kind of moment where, I don't know, it's kind of like self-doubt almost, but I feel like it's a bit anxious as well. Like a bit of anxiety keeps coming up in regards to like, my message and what I want to share with the world and like what I'm trying to do which is kind of funny really because I gave someone some advice yesterday which literally I was telling them to follow their heart and block out the fear but yeah you can give this amazing advice but then when it comes to doing it yourself you end up like getting wrapped up in those fear-based voices but honestly it's been a very very weird weird even day to be fair but it's just mentally and emotionally. So yeah, I kind of want to talk about that feeling of like feeling stuck even though you know what you want to do. And like even when you're on your path and you know what you love, you know what you enjoy, you know where you want to go, you can still end up stuck almost. Or maybe you perceive it as stuck, but you're not really stuck, which is so funny. That happens to me all the time. And it's just hit me that that's probably what this was. It's like, you are actually moving. You are actually doing things. Like, you have a vision. You know what you want to do. You know where you're trying to go. And you can almost convince yourself that you're stuck when you're not. Because maybe you're not taking as much action as you feel you need to or that like society tries to convince you that you need to like you literally need to burn yourself out which isn't true and like it can feel like you're stuck even when you're not if that makes sense i wasn't really expecting this video to go to that um that message but apparently that's what i'm feeling right now <laughs> this is me just trying to like talk myself through my issues you know and that's definitely the best way to do it and the most liberating way to do it so i know i just feel like society at the moment is in such a weird space and it's making me feel weird and that could be because of 
my like Pisces placements, like I have a lot of Pisces and 12th house placements and we do feel for the world. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm just feeling so strange, like so much is going on, you know, like if you look at, um, I mean you can look anywhere in society, you could just look at Hollywood, like the Cardi B thing, the Kardashian thing, you can look at different countries and like the wars and the poverty and like you can literally look at all aspects of life and all different types of things that are happening and it just I don't know I really don't like it like I try not to even look at the world too much because I just don't like this world and I feel like that is such a fucking Pisces thing to say <laughs> like we don't want to be here you know we are so used to living in the subconscious and living in the dream realm like living in the astral realm I don't want to be here but it's not even that's not what I'm trying to say it's like it's not any kind of weird thing I'm not getting on here telling you that I'm trying to leave or anything like that so I hope that you don't take it in that way but I just mean that like this world is just crazy like it's just so depressing almost like it's so sad and it's so shit and it's so horrible but then at the same time you can look at other things and see the beauty in it and like see how incredible it is and see how lucky and like not lucky because luck doesn't actually exist but see how blessed we are to be here at this moment in time where there's so much opportunity and there's so much love to give like you can look at things in so many ways but it's so easy to get sucked into the negative and the distractions and the fear and like the depression and the hate that goes on in the world so I just really don't like the way the distractions are delivered to us and the way that they're even talked about amongst us and like I know that this is a weird message to even put out to be honest and like it's kind of weird me even processing it like I'm literally processing it right now as I talk about it but I just don't like the way everything is so negative and so opinionated and judgmental and like attacking each other and criticizing each other and belittling each other and like pointing out where each other fucks up and you know I just really don't like it and it's so normal like it's so normalized that we should just be doing that and we should be fucking getting on our accounts and like judging people and you know what I mean like it's just everything's so opinionated but this isn't to say that like you shouldn't have an opinion because obviously we're all going to form opinions but it's just like the bashing of each other that I really fucking hate <laughs> like I don't like it but then at the same time I also realized that sometimes when it comes to like moral things and like justice and the message that we're allowing to be out there sometimes those things need to be addressed and you can't ignore it and like bury your head or avoid it because there are certain things where I feel like yeah we should be speaking up on in order to change it like if we're not going to acknowledge it then we can't change it so it's like at the same time I do feel like certain things do need to be spoken about and discussed and like I mean changed you know like so many things need to change but yeah I just feel like this whole world is so negative <laughs> and so like uh sometimes not all the time but sometimes so yeah I've just been feeling very anxious and weird about what my message is and how to like portray what I not portray but like how to share what I want to say how to express what I want to say and even worthiness of doing so that that belief comes up for me so much and I don't understand why like even when you get past it even when you understand where it comes from and like the conditioning that you had that instilled that it still fucking comes up like it still comes back up you know 
So yeah, I'm just really trying to like face those beliefs. So I guess I kind of want to say like, even when you do uncover certain things, it's still going to come up. So we just have to go easy on ourselves when that kind of situation happens and those kind of triggers come up. But yeah, I'm just not really caring for the world right now. <laughs> That's kind of how I've been feeling this week and trying to reground and like refocus and figure out how to move through things and move through like goals I guess and the vision and the purpose and that's why um the thing that I said yesterday to somebody about following your heart like that kind of even though I said it and it's something that I always have known and it's easy to say like reminding myself of that is so important like it's not about anybody else it's not about all of the crap that's going on it's literally about your heart and like what the right thing to do is you know for you kind of thing like what's the right thing what's the right path what's going to help people what's going to empower people what's going to make a difference in this world what's going to like help elevate the collective so that we can make the change that we want to make so that we can shift things to where we want them to go like this world is fucking crazy there's so much craziness going on right now but yeah, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but I'm just feeling so weird and trying to like get comfortable to film some videos, but then the fear was coming back up, so why not just process this on camera, you know? I just feel like you can learn all about all of the craziness that goes on, and I've said this so many times in different videos, in different ways, but like you can learn about so much to do with this world. And half of it is down well terrifying. Like when you learn that a handful of people try to control the world and will like do certain things and push certain agendas and manipulate the world so much. When you learn all of that stuff, it's so scary and so like, holy fuck, like what the hell? Like how do we stop them? We can't stop them because they own the guns. They own the money like they own every aspect of the world like they own the fucking food they own the electricity you know like they control all of these systems so when you learn about all of this stuff it's like god damn <laughs> like, we can't do anything like what do we do like it makes you feel powerless so i don't want to be here focusing on that fear and reiterating their power and reiterating that fear that's not that's just not why I'm here, you know? And we're all here for different purposes. That's why we have people sharing all kinds of different opinions and perceptions because everybody's matters and everybody has an impact in what they share. So yeah, I'm really trying to learn how to like tap into my own and not let other people's sway my purpose, you know? So I feel like that's an important message to put out there because we all get swayed and we all doubt ourselves and we all like compare ourselves to how somebody else is doing things or how somebody else communicates or, you know, like it makes you feel unworthy and feel like you need to become them or they're better at it than you so you shouldn't do it or like their message is more important or they're more talented or they're more creative or they're like they're more beautiful any kind of any kind of comparison that you can think of it makes you doubt yourself so I'm really realizing that even though that doubt is here right now and even though that doubt definitely comes up in waves and it leaves and it comes back like it's just important to hear your heart and hear who you are and hear why you would ever choose to incarnate into this world where so much craziness happens like you didn't do that for no reason you didn't decide to put yourself through this hell hole for no reason like we have a purpose we have a soul mission you came here to do something like it's for a reason your contribution to the world and to the collective and to the mental state of where the collective is at like we all came here for a reason so 
even when the doubt comes up, it's just important to hear your heart and to remind yourself of that, to look at that, look at why you would come here, like, what is your passion, what, what excites you, what inspires you, what is something that you absolutely cannot stand about this world, what is something that really triggers you, what is something that you don't agree with, what is something that you do agree with, like, literally just get into the depths of your soul, like the depths of your heart, the depths of your being, like really hearing that, hearing those answers and then you realise, oh, that's my purpose, like that's what I came here to do, that is how I can help other people by sharing my own experience, that is like, that is how I can give something to the world like give a part of me to the world and it's not wrong because it's your own perception which is what this world is made up of you know but it's so easy to doubt ourselves it's so easy to just fall into the trap of like I'm not good enough or I don't know why I'm here or I don't belong kind of thing like it's so easy to fall into that but that's because we're not listening to our heart that's because we're listening to the like the external, the collective way of going about things. But you can't change the collective if you just go along with what the collective is doing, you know? If you just stay as a sheep and just follow along with what everybody else is doing and what they say is right and what they say is expected, like, if we all just follow that, then nothing's ever going to change. Nothing's ever going to become better. We're never going to become better in ourselves if we just follow what everybody else is doing. So that's kind of reminding me as well of why I need to just do it as me, you know? Why I need to just put out these videos as me because nobody, like, not everyone's going to agree. Not everyone's going to even be able to comprehend what I'm saying or, like, internalise it in the way that I intend it to be internalised because they're receiving it from their own mental perception. So, yeah, I just think it's so easy to hear the fear and then allow that to like stop you and trip you up and make you doubt yourself and question yourself and question your purpose and your worth and what you came here for. But it's okay, like these things happen you know, it happens and it cycles as well, so it probably will happen again, but how we react, how we respond, how we choose to move through those things, through those emotions, through those thoughts, through those traumas even, that's the key, that's where the growth lies, that's where the freedom lies, that's where like the exit is of how to get out of it, is how we choose to respond and that's why I'm choosing with these videos to kind of focus on the self at the moment and not really go into any of like because I can talk about the universal laws I could talk about the um, Gnosticism I could talk about religion I could talk about racism I could talk about like social and cultural injustices and like there's so many things in the world, so many parts of the world, so many concepts, so many beliefs, so many systems that I could sit here and talk about, that we could all sit here and talk about. But for me right now, I'm really feeling like I need to focus on the self. I mean, this is such a fucking Aries message. <laughs> Aries is all about the self. We're in Aries season and I'm sitting here making a video about needing to talk about the self. That is just so typical. <laughs> Oh my god, and I'm an Aries rising and Aries Venus, so this just makes fucking sense, doesn't it? It's so funny how things come around, because I wasn't even intending for that to be this video's message. Like, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to sit here and talk about whatever comes to my mind, and of course that would come to my mind. But I really feel like I need to lay the foundation in these videos of me talking about where our power lies and our power doesn't lie in the external it doesn't lie in the fear of what these 
so-called elite people are doing. It doesn't lie in like calling people out, although it kind of does, but our own power lies in ourself. Our own way of getting ourselves out of this shithole is in ourselves, you know? Like the alchemy is in the mind. It's not in an external thing. The external reflects the mind. So if we're all elevating our minds, the external will reflect that, you know, and that's how we make a change. The change starts with yourself first, because if you're running around in fear and anger and hate and pain, then that's all you're putting out into the world. So the world is going to reflect that. If everybody's putting out hate, the whole world becomes hate. If everybody's putting out love, the whole world becomes love. So... And I know that's a very vague statement, but it is kind of true. Like, it is a true thing because the universe is mental. So, yeah. I just, and I don't even know why I'm sitting here trying to justify it, but I don't feel like it's really justification that I'm seeking. I feel like it's me trying to convince myself because it comes back to the self, you know? My fear of what you guys will think is stemming from my own beliefs of how I think about myself, you know? So it's not so much justification and like validation that I'm seeking, it's me trying to remind myself of how worthy I am, remind myself that it's okay to actually follow your purpose and follow your heart and do what you feel called to do. So yeah, this video is kind of a bit random, but I'm going to put it out anyway because I feel like it's just necessary for us to share our vulnerability and share our mental processes because it helps other people and that is kind of what I'm here to do and like this is my way of doing that. Not everybody's going to want to sit there and pour their emotions out and like process things that they're dealing with because not everybody is me, you know, like not everybody processes things in the same way. So if we each were to follow our own hearts and our own way of expressing things and like really go full force with that unapologetically and like with so much belief in ourselves, the world would be so different. It really would. Like if I was to put them out like this, if somebody else was to do it their way, like somebody else was to do it their way you know if we were all just doing things in our own way and we all gave each other the space and the freedom to do that this world wouldn't have half the amount of hate and judgment and criticism and blah, all of that shit that it has so yeah i feel like i'm gonna leave this video there but I really appreciate you watching me ramble and process emotions and thoughts and stuff. But the next videos will have like more specific topics as a lot of my videos do. But I think maybe I'm going to do some channeled messages every now and then just of different things that I'm feeling. And sometimes I feel like I'm feeling for the collective and then other times I feel like I'm feeling for myself. I think that's probably a Pisces thing as well, so I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just trying to like follow my heart, I think that's what I'm trying to say, like this is me just following my heart and putting out the kind of messages that I want to, you know, and that's, I mean that is what this fucking world is, so I don't know why I'm trying to convince myself that it's okay to do that, <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching. All of my links to music and everything like that, social media, will be in the description box below. And yeah, I hope this video wasn't too rambly and helped you in some way. But really, this video was just for me, to be honest. Like, this is me just processing everything. So now I can move on to filming more specific topics that I want to. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a 